So whenever you're renovating or repairing an old structure, the first thing you're trying to do is to work out which bits are sound, structurally sound, and which bits aren't, and, um, and what you can use, reuse, and what you can't. And this is particularly, the first place you're looking is the roof particularly important um it's definitely your priority that's where you want to be looking first uh because if the roof's sound the rest is pretty easy the rest the rest you can um like the walls especially like stone walls well if the roof's sound then then you you're okay <laughs> basically <laughs> the walls can be easily built up um so you, that's what you're doing you're checking and how do you know if if wood is structurally sound well Normally you'd want a screwdriver, but let me see what I've got here to to have a dig around in. And look, so I, when I when I, I don't know if you can see this when I'm um jabbing this, it's it's solid. Okay, it feels you can feel it actually with your hand. It's solid. It feels firm. What you don't want is it feeling soft, and that's look. I mean, you can see here already. You know, eaten away. That's eaten away there. Um, dry rot. And it's soft, you can feel it's going mushy. See, it's not, not structurally sound at all, <laughs> that little piece there. So I'm going to have to repair that piece there. I don't need to repair the whole beam. Whoops, let's get this out of the way. I don't need to repair the whole beam. The, the rest of the beam is sound, fine. Don't need to take all that out. Um, I'm, I'm going to be replacing that piece there. And that, that's fine, because that's going to hold up these beams here, <laughs> which are also sound, so that's, what you do you go around and check which pieces of wood need replacing on which don't and because old wood old wood is always always stronger i mean if it, if it hasn't got dry rot <laughs> if it hasn't got or termites or something um but if it's sound it's always stronger than than anything because today really you're going to be buying pine and the old wood they had plenty of old wood back in the day so they used the best stuff this is chestnut for example you might find it's oak or juniper and those woods are they are so strong. They're so tough, tough. And um, yeah, you pine just is nowhere near going to last as long. So that's what you're first doing. You're trying to assess which bits of wood are solid like that one, and which bits aren't like that. And the bits that aren't, you replace and repair. You save yourself a lot of money um, by just taking that step a little bit carefully.